All right, guys, I decided to try to a couple more things on this before I throw them uh, in the scrap bin. Somebody asked to see a serious single cut. Well, this is what you got. It is a rough single cut. I will show you the burr I used. It's actually a single cut aluminum burr. Charlie, you can't use aluminum burrs on, on iron. Well, you can. It does beat them up. You really have to watch your speed because if they start bouncing, they will ch start chipping. Now, you can still use them after they chip. They're gonna, they're just gonna give you a different pattern. See this busted up nightmare? Believe it or not, that thing takes off material like crazy. It's all banged up. What I actually did with it is I did an experiment. I took my really old double cut that I do for texture. It was so dull that I couldn't get any decent texture out of it. So I literally banged them, banged them together. I would say be careful because little chips of of uh, carborundum that bang off are really hot. Ask me how I know. Make sure you wear goggles if you try anything that stupid. But me, I have no problem doing experiments like that. And I made two burrs that were basically unusable. Usable. Because I like that type of stuff. So, what did I do? I took off all of the lines, more or less. I may have missed a couple little spots. But that, uh, that big single cut makes short work out of taking metal out. So the port is bigger than it was last time you guys saw it. Okay, you can see the whole thing has been gone over. I may have missed a couple spots, like I said. But remember now, the throat is a little bigger. You can see there I missed, I missed a, a line on that very top. And the short side radius is very rough. Not only is the short side radius really rough, a burr that aggressive, it's tough to get a complete radius on it. You can almost see, you know, the lines in it from where you went over it. And let's take a look at the chamber. You can see I did uh, the same thing on the chamber, so that's a little bit less shrouded than it was last time you saw it. And I brought that rough, rough texture right out into the chamber. So the whole chamber is a touch bigger. Okay. Let me put my pluses and minuses in. Okay, guys. So this is where it was really nasty grooved. This is single cut aluminum. Okay. Take a look how we did. Plus, 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 plus. Oh, but Charlie, how did it do against the polished? Well, let's take a look. Plus, plus, down a touch, plus, same, plus, 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 plus. Gee, I don't bet there's not a whole lot of people that would have expected that. How is that possible? Well, a couple ways, right? It's a little bit bigger port. Right? Got to factor that in. It definitely has more metal taken out of it. It's a little bit bigger port now. So let's take a look at what we did with our swirl from our groove port to our uh, aluminum cut burr. I got you. Minus, plus, minus, 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 plus, plus. Hit or miss on the swirl. Not that big a difference. I think the only thing I'm going to do to this port after this is I'm going to lightly burr the chamber and I'm going to polish that short side radius and uh, and I think that's going to be probably the end of this this disaster unless somebody uh, has something they desperately want to see with this I'm gonna I'm pretty much gonna call it quits with this I think all right guys oh I almost wanted to, almost forgot to tell you so uh, my buddy's supposed to show up today, bring some Opar stuff for us to play with. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if that happens. It looks like he's all packed up and ready to go. 
So that'll be fun. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Have a good night.